Hello and welcome to building an embedded system on FPGA, a lab-based course. In this course, you'll learn about creating a block design for the embedded system, interfacing peripherals with the softcore processor, protocols used to communicate between the peripherals and the processor, adding hardware modules to the programmable logic, interfacing the hardware modules that you added with the softcore processor, writing code for the softcore processor, and finally modifying the design based on requirements. The prerequisites for taking this course are the C programming, basics of the Verilog HDL, familiarity with the FPGA and microcontroller architectures, the FPGA design flow, and some basic knowledge on the hardware circuit design. The software required for this course are Vivaro 2019.1 HLX edition and the Xilinx SDK, which is usually installed with the Vivado. The hardware requirements for this course are this any Xilinx 7 series FPGA development board such as the RTA7 or the Basis 3, a multi-purpose prototyping board if you are going to build the PMOD or you can use a regular breadboard, a 16 into 2 character LCD, a rotary encoder and some other basic components like the potentiometer and then some connecting wires. In the first video, you'll learn about Microblaze as a soft core processor, then the overview of the architecture and the available support for peripherals, the various preset configurations available for Microblaze soft core processor, and the microcontroller preset in specific, the AXI protocol, and then the definition of transaction and other terms then the AXI architecture, the AXI read, the AXI write, and then finally the AXI interconnect. In the first lab, you learn how to create a project in Vivado, adding the microblaze IP, and then configuring the clock, then adding the processor system reset, and then we will have to manually add a NOT gate for the processor system reset, modifying the constraints file according to our design, then adding the AXI GPIOs, and then once that is done, we'll go for a bitstream generation, and then exporting the hardware, and then launching the Xilinx SDK, and then writing a hello world a demo program to verify our design. In the second lab, you'll learn about writing the code for the design which we just created using some inbuilt libraries in the SDK such as the xgpa.h and xparameters.h, uh, writing code for toggling the LEDs on board uh, using a specific pattern. In video 4, you learn about working of the character LCD in 8-bit mode and in 4-bit mode. Then looking at the schematics to design the PMOD character LCD. And then the explanation of the circuitry. And then finally, analyzing the designed PMOD. In lab 3, you learn to modify the block design to interface the PMOD LCD that we just uh, created. And then we'll export the new hardware into Xilinx SDK and we'll write a code to verify the modified design. In lab 4, you'll learn the working of the LCD driver code and how the different functions work. And then after that, we'll uh, run the program and verify the code. In video 7, you'll learn the working of the rotary encoder and then we'll decode the output signals of the rotary encoder using an oscilloscope. And then about the quadrature decoder and then finally how the quadrature decoder could be implemented in the programmable logic of the FPGA. In lab 5, you will learn how to include the quadrature decoder module into the programmable logic of the FPGA, adding a new clock and then interfacing it with the microblaze using the AXI GPIOs. Then after designing it, we will export the new hardware into the Xilinx SDK and then write a code to print the uh, direction and the count value of the rotary encoder onto the terminal.
Lab 6 would be the final lab of this module. So in this lab, uh, we'll learn to modify the code already written to display the count value and the direction onto the LCD. Complete the final assessment to earn a certificate. See you in the course and thanks for watching.